Cutting across to the COP28 summit with Prime Minister Modi along with the top world leaders, a joint photo, uh, a photo op that's currently visible there. There you have it, live images of the COP28 summit. Prime Minister Modi, an important part of it. He's going to be delivering four speeches, all the world leaders who've just arrived. All right, there you have a COP28 summit, a photo op with all the top world leaders who have come as they are going to be discussing extensively on what are the best efforts that these nations get put in place to prevent global warming. It's a climate summit where much will be discussed on what could be done to save the environment. As you see, Prime Minister Modi, those are some of the shots that you saw a little earlier. Uh, in fact, the Indian diaspora in Dubai have landed up in numbers to meet with Prime Minister Modi and while they're outside there you have inside visuals of this photo op of Prime Minister Modi along with all the top world leaders uh, uh, there's, uh, they've, as they've come together to be part of this climate summit. Geeta Mohan who's our correspondent foreign affairs editor she's right there on ground right at that place where all the action is happening Prime Minister Modi also put out uh, images of him meeting with the Indian diaspora a little earlier, saying he was deeply moved and warmly welcomed by the Indian community in Dubai and says that their support and enthusiasm is the testament to the vibrant culture and the strong bond. All of this while he's part of this COP28 summit, a photo op as we see with all the world leaders in attendance. It's a very important uh, event for India, undoubtedly, as multiple uh, suggestions will be provided by Prime Minister Modi on what India will be adopting to ensure a cleaner, greener energy, uh, how will India contribute to prevent global warming, how is India going to reduce dependence on fossil fuels. In every sense, uh, the multiple issues will be discussed. This is an international climate uh, summit to come up with a strong game plan on what, how to save the environment and preserve what we have for our future generations. You have the Saudi Crown Prince, you have the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, of course, uh, and, and, and what we know is multiple uh, global leaders who are going to be in attendance, but uh, two of the Two of the world leaders, including Joe Biden and China Xi Jinping, likely are not going to be arriving. Though they have been invited, they will not be part of this summit. Though more than 130 world leaders are all set to address uh, the United Nations Climate Conference. This is in Dubai and this would happen today and tomorrow. Prime Minister Modi to be giving out at least four speeches, all in accordance to how India is adopting to a cleaner, greener energy.